Hi there. So I've been making or trying to make YouTube videos for close to a decade with no success because I don't do it often. Um, so let's start something small, an unboxing. Today I have with me the Hanukkah Raspberry Pi 4, the 4 gig model, and let's uh, let's get to it. Already have it uh, cut open here. I do have the Raspberry Pi 2B and 3, whatever it is. And so I am familiar with Raspberry Pis, it's just I haven't decided what to do with the ones that I have right now. So, as you can see, okay, cool. Fan. SD card with noobs. Um, when inserted into the PC as it is pre partitioned and does expand it later. Yep. Pretty normal for noobs. Um, HDMI with micro. It's micro, right? Whatever it is. Ooh, the case. The nice black case. All right. One thing that I cannot put without it is being annoying. Um, right. Uh, where would I? Okay, there's where to put it, the fan. Cool. I like this. Neat design. Better than the previous ones. So, this one, even though I have the three and the two, uh, actually. The two is just sitting there, uh, doing nothing for me right now. Want to think of a project for that one. Just a simple one, maybe with a camera. Um, the three one, I'm going to use it as like a dev one. Right now it's a pie hole that's, I'm not sure if it's working. I don't know if it is. Um, but this one, this one's going to replace the three. In terms of being a pie hole. Wow, this is a heavy brick. What is the power rating? 3.5 amps. 5 volts. USB C. This is a big brick. You can see it, right? Yeah, it was a big brick. Um at least the cable is really long. That'll be useful. That'll be useful for me. So this pi, number four, with four gigs, four gigs on a Raspberry Pi. I've been following this for ages. Four gigs on a Raspberry Pi seems great. And there's an 8 gig model too, which is blowing my mind. Um, what I plan to do with this, replace the pi hole, that's one, and uh, make it into my own cloud. So I have a couple three terabyte drives that I'm going to take out of my server, uh, replace them with an eight terabyte single drive, um, and connect those three terabyte drives to a dock. Dock will connect to this Raspberry Pi. Open it later. Oh, I didn't pay attention to this. Okay. Okay, this is it. This is it. I like switches. So I thought this was going to be come together when I saw it on the picture. I didn't know it was separate. If it was separate. Can I get like a couple more of these? I feel like this could be useful. Just for other USB C devices, this could be useful. Having a switch. I like I like that. And the SD card reader. You need to reload Mac. Okay, cool. Lots of warnings. Like, Kanakit really takes care of you. 
hand holds you a lot. And what does this do? Yep. Yep. So this is nice. Like big, big uh, writing over here for everything. Uh, but here, everything's just the numbers itself. Which. They could, I guess, show in, okay, basic. Ah, there we go. There it is. Cool. Um, yeah, pretty normal stuff. I've been working with Raspberry Pis for a long time. I know what uh, the basics are. I haven't done anything really technical. Uh, so, really hoping to actually do something proper. And here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Who? Okay. Step one. I don't know what step one is. Check the packaging. Something. Just how to keep it? I have no idea what this is doing. And safety guide. Cool. Know my way around the basics. Um, we'll need to try to go deeper into this later. Uh, I still don't know what the two HDMI's are for. I know. Is show on the camera? Yeah, there we go. There we go. And then and the pins. And here's the pie. Let's see if I can get if I can get this in. Focus. Guess so. And then back here we just have the SD card, which let's uh, open it up, I guess. And I'm gonna need scissors, aren't I? Hold up. There we go. Smooth. Anti-static bag. These. Nice Samsung cards. Know what I miss? Okay, I actually have because I'm not using it. Uh, got this. This is my very old, very old Raspberry Pi 2B. And the feature that I miss the most from it. The spring SD card. This one, no spring. Much failure. Very much failure. So this one here, we just slot it in like it's. Is there another way? Ah, there we go. Is this how it goes? Do I have it on right? Underneath. Okay. Okay. So that's how you do it. Underneath first here, and then the front. Not the front underneath first. Then slide this on the other side. Oh, pretty like that. And um, let's see, I 
I don't know why I'm being careful with the plastic. Probably never going to use it again. Now, push the air. What do I want? What do I want? Yeah, let's do pushing. Which way will the pins go? Uh, okay, there we go. And I'll just connect them to, I'm thinking. Bottom one? No, no. Top one. These two. That's what I think. Yeah, ground and power. Makes sense. These ones. Where? Oh, there's three. Okay, so take this apart, I guess, again. Thankfully, it's a lot easier than my 3D printed one, which a friend did for me. Okay, one, two, I'm guessing. Big one. Small one. Uh, in the three, there was something on the back. Not this time. So, instead of this, guessing that's the Wi Fi. So, this and this. I'm guessing. Big one, vertically one, and this one. And this one would be the Wi Fi Bluetooth. Oh. What is this one actually? ECM. That might be the smaller one instead of the VLI. Hmm. Would they have? No, I doubt it. Quick start guide. What they have included in the quick start guide. Optional set of heat sinks. They included on the list of stuff. They included on how to, where to install. I really doubt it. Yeah, doubt it. Um, we'll just look it up online. And uh, so how much to it? It's Raspberry Pi. Pretty cool. Pretty powerful. We'll try to get the project done. So create own cloud uh, using Nextcloud, uh, and then use it as just a backup for phones and stuff. Don't want to rely on Google Photos or Plex or just whatever. <laughs> Don't want to rely on someone else's cloud right now.